hello everyone so welcome to a new video and in this video we're going to talk about how can i create an advanced custom component for our custom block in our last video we have discussed about how can i create a simple uh, basic uh, custom component for our custom block so today we'll create an icon picker with uh, dash icons so that we can pick the icon uh, from this icon picker and we can use this in our custom block by default the gutenberg doesn't have any icon picker component so uh, i think this technique will be very helpful for you to create your own custom icon picker you can also follow the same technique for your uh, any other icon picker so like uh, you can easily create a font awesome icon picker or any other icon pickers uh, one more thing that i will just discuss about some basic uh, 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 basic way just I will uh, continue with some basic uh, icons you can extend it as per your need so I am just going to share the tips or the, so I share the technique so that you can follow it and create your own icon picker so you can see this is our component folder and we have to create a new folder and I want to keep the name of this folder will be this the icon picker like this one and I want to create a, a JavaScript file like icon picker.js and you know already know about this that we are going to create a functional component so constant icon picker and this will be a functional component and we are just going to return some basic uh, HTML and we will extend this one by one like this is our icon picker wrapper and I want to just icon picker just want to keep a S3 tag now I want to expand export so that we can easily import it in our edit.js file so this is our first box and I want to import it here so we have to import first import icon picker and I want to import it in our setting uh, panel so icon picker this is and if we run the npm wrong or restart and if we check out I can see this is our text this is coming from our icon picker component now we want to expand it so how can we do this first we need to declare some i mean the same uh, icons since we are going to use dash icons so icons and this is an array because we are going to use uh, multiple icons and this icon uh, will be an object first we need to declare the name so I can call it the level or whatever you say that is not a problem because we are developing customer so we can define any name here like first one can be this WordPress and this value or icons you can say anything will be just WordPress now declare the second one like the facebook and value will be facebook and similar for this twitter and this value will be twitter so we have uh three icons and if you check out the dash icons we can check in the facebook yes this is the basic structure uh, we have the dash icons the prefix and the main name of this uh, icon is in the facebook and similarly for this tutorial if you check out you can see this is the name of this icon tutorial and the dash icons is the prefix and for the wordpress we will get the summary result and you can see the name of this icon is wordpress and the prefix is dash icons so first we want to display this all icons so i want to call this icons list and we will check if there is any icons or not if we have icons then we can run a map function 
that's it I'll return some more information so what is this we are just I want to just remove this one only keep the icon here and if I refresh I will see the icons are visible here like this uh, I mean this uh, WordPress, Facebook and Twitter icons okay but I want to give I want to take a a clickable a clickable element to like the button so that we can uh, run a clickable function here and inside this button we want to pass this icon here and now if I check out my editor I will see yes now it is uh, is icon inside a button component uh, button I mean this button tag and this button except a clickable event right so what will happen we will just pass one click one click from event and when we click on this button just we are going to console like something like we will just console icon that fell icon that fell means this is a icon that's mean it will pass all icons for here and we'll get the value that's mean we'll get the value from this icon like when we click on this wordpress we'll get wordpress and in case of facebook we are getting we'll get to the facebook's and twitter in case of twitter let us try to check out if i check the inspector control and click on this facebook we can see sorry we can click on this uh, wordpress I guess we are getting result for the WordPress, similarly Facebooks and Twitter. Yes, it is working uh, properly. Now it is time to sorry. Now it is time to play with our attributes. First, we need to declare an attribute like it can be our icon, and you can pass a default value like WordPress, or you can keep it blank. That's it. And our second duty is to distract the icon here. Yeah. And inside the second picker, we have to pass some props. First on the value, we can say the attribute name, ATTR name. What is the name of our attribute? The name of the attribute is the icon. And what is the value of this? Sorry. ATTR value. We can also call any name so like this and value will be just equal to this uh, attribute file well, secondly sorry thirdly we have to pass the function set attributes as is equal to the set attribute function that means we're getting the three props first one the attribute name second was attribute file and third was the name of the function okay so when we're going to the icon pickers we're getting three props activity name attitude follow and set attributes now we have to play with these three props suppose we want to make it a selected icon selected icon like this one and just try to second dip selected icon sorry it will be just icon and inside the selected icon we have to pass the attribute value that's mean we will pass the attribute value we'll get wordpress facebook studio like this one and the icon will be visible here and inside this click function click event you will just set attributes like this and we have to pass the attribute name and since the attribute name is a variable so we are passing this variable uh, between the third bracket and we're going to assign the value for this attribute will be the icon that fell that's mean like wordpress facebook on twitter so if we now refresh our editor we'll see by default sorry let me 
npm start again refresh we'll see by default the wordpress is selected because we have passed our wordpress as the default value and if you click the facebook you can see we are getting the facebook and you can see twitter we can get in this twitter value right okay now we need to display in our editor panel how can we display this that means we are getting the results in our attribute so we can simply display our uh, suppose we want to display from here this one and just call this for tag selected icon and inside this selected icon what we'll do I will just get the value for this icon inside to this icon now if you refresh yeah I can see by default our selected icons is WordPress if we click the Facebook we can get uh, uh, you can see we're getting Facebook and in case of Twitter we are getting this tutorial and we can run this similar functionality or you can just keep it blank I think it will look better and the sub function and we have to distract the icon and that's it and if we refresh and let me refresh here and I'm dead like Twitter sorry Facebook and if we see the result at the front end you can see this is the Facebook but there is a simple problems when if we check this in a private window that's many our uh, I mean this uh, log, logged out situation you can see there is no value because by default the dash icons is loading only in our admin panel it is not loading in our in front uh, I mean this front end so if you want to load the dash icon in your front end you have to do it manually so how can we do this we have to go to our plugins.psp file and there is a new function uh, we have to call I mean they have to include some style sheet so block asset you block asset so there is an hook that is called include block editor asset what you can just call I include block asset for both editor and front end then we have to just call this uh, I mean this hook and that is called the incube block assets so for this function I am just going to functions block assets we have to enqueue our dash icon sorry I think you know about all that you know about so the dash icon. And if we refresh now, we can see now this Facebook is visible because now it is loading the dash icons uh, still sheet. So this is the basic way of creating an icon picker. Now we can install this one. I am just showing some basic style. To install this, we have to create a style sheet like icon picker dot source file and we have to just import this like import icon picker dot source and if I go to here and refresh and want to just refresh this is our icon list just I want to Display flex item saw and stress. Justify content as between like this. 
I'm going to take on what's on 12, stain page or like this one, 15 pixels. That's it. And to copy and paste this tray in my icon picker style and refresh. If you see, now our stain sheets are working fine. Okay. Now you can style it as per your need. That is not a problem. We can discuss about some more styles, advanced style in our next video. So I think you understood. If you have any questions, you can let me know. I will try to reply your questions. Thank you.